Okay, so Adarshad, and today I'm going to uh, show you how to make a Cisco Access Server in GNS3. First of all, you have to uh, install a Microsoft Loopback adapter on your computer. And uh, if you know, that's very good. And if you don't know, don't worry, I'm going to uh, tell you where we can install this um, MS Loopback adapter. Go to Control Panel, Add and Remove hardware go for next after the next uh, it will take search for CD but there is no CD and after that it will give you a message you have to click on yes I will I have already connected the hardware then go for next after that go in the bottom of the list and you will see add a new hardware device click it next and ask him install the hardware that I manually selected from a list go for next and then choose a network adapter here after that go for next it will take you here and you have to click on Microsoft loopback adapter and go next and then finish it will install and come in your uh, my network places properties here then you go to give any kind of IP which will communicate with your uh, Cisco access server go to properties TCP IP I gave 2.2.2.2 and I will give the 2.2.2.14 our access server router and 24 bit subnet mask. Okay, okay, and okay. Double check. Yes, we configure the IP address. Now go for GNS3. Here it is. Double click. It will take a little time. Okay. Here it is. Cancel okay first of all you have to put your cloud here and a router here for your access server this router we will use for access server then double click on this cloud or right click for configure go in C0 and click here you will find uh, MS uh, backup back uh, loop back driver here it's come here if it's after the installation it's not coming here you have to restart your computer click uh, select this one and add okay and then go for apply okay now you have to go for your fast ethernet 0 slash 0 to connect this this Microsoft loop back here adapter here it's connected now choose a two router for your topology you may choose three four or five but it's depend on your computer's memory I have a low memory here just a 1 GB so I'm gonna choose only two routers here and then connect this router via serial interface okay it's connected and I'm going to check the console ports for router 1 check the console port here 2001 and the router 2 is 2002 okay now I'm going uh, going to start these routers okay it will take a little a little time to start and boot okay it's booted now I have to go on this router which will make as our access uh, server Cisco access server router go to console Okay, here it is coming and loading the computer. No, it will take a little time to install the iOS to boot the actually iOS of the router. Enter. Okay, our router is booted now and you have to give the router for a name for this router as access server go for enable and then config t to that host name I'm gonna give access server then you go for the uh, interface fast 0 slash 0 which is connected with Microsoft uh, loopback adapter IP address 
2.2.2.1 24-bit mask 255.255.0 remember the 2.2.2.2 we gave that IP address to uh, Microsoft Lubeck adapter enter no shutdown <coughs> okay it's uh, it's done and now we'll go for exit here control that okay here it is our uh, line protocol is up with the uh, fast ether zero -ness. you can ping to Microsoft this hold on okay ping for two dot two dot two dot two okay let's see if it's going to give a hundred percent or eighty percent success rate <coughs> okay here you see the four packets we received and it's communicating with our uh, Microsoft MS Loopback. Now you have to configure the router other sorry for T enter and you have to go for IP host okay and it's saying for what the name of router in GNSC R1 here it is and here is our R2 okay have to go for R1 then it's saying choose a sorry choose a default telnet port it's 2001 then it's saying for uh, tell the host IP address you have to give the MS uh, Lubeck adopters IP address here one router is configured and if go for up arrow I'm going back 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 and router 2 the telnet port number is 2002 the same IP address here it is okay you can choose a third router fourth or five so on so far as you like okay <coughs> now here <coughs> control Z right <coughs> okay fighting now if you go for R1 enter okay it's connected to uh, our router one here it is if you go for no it's starting okay it's booted up boot in and if you're gonna come back on uh, your access server control shift 6 and X you will come back on your accessor now go for router 2 R2 enter and it's opening go for no to load here okay it's loading and loaded here again if you're gonna come back control shift 6 and X you're back on your access server now press simple one enter it will take you to back on router one and after that you can configure your router two again wanna come on uh, access server control shift six and X it will take you on back on access server press two enter it will take you to router two and you can uh, configure three four five routers and make accessor and easily can draw topology and do your lab on GNS3 until now take care bye bye